Hello, um, I'm Lila Wefeld and I'm a postdoc associate here at Baylor. I'm working in the Digman lab. And my project is, I think, one of the nicest projects ever. I'm working with these guys here, with the boards. And we are interested in how navigation takes place in the brain. So what we are doing with our birds right now is that we put little G GPS tracker devices um, on their backs in um, little backpacks. And for the first um, step, we are looking on their uh, homing patterns. We see which route they take and how fast they home and how the magnetic field looks like um, at the streets or places um, they home. So and. Um, the next step is to disturb the Earth's magnetic field around their um, bodies basically with magnetic coils and see whether this affects our birds or not. And the long term goal is to see what happens in the bird's brain during homing. So what happens when a, in the brain of the bird when the bird navigates. I can see where they are, of course, I can see that they are at the gallery on top of a shoe store, on top, yeah, or at the cheesecake factory, or in some rich person's backyard at the pool, so. <laughs> and basically this is just rubber foam from uh, the craft store with some velcro on it. And there's a little pocket, this one is a dummy, so I just put whatever I find in it and to make it look as, yeah, as real as possible and then I Velcro it um, on the plate here. And, um, as a child, we had a pigeon loft at home, and so and I really like working with animals. I mean, they are pretty smart, and basically, the human brain is not as different from a bird's brain as you may think. So it's at least it's close enough that you can draw good enough conclusions to transfer them to the human brain at some point. So. The bird's brain is simpler, which makes it easier for us, of course. Um, so the knowledge that we gain in a bird can easily be transferred to maybe first mice and then monkeys and um, at the last step to humans.